Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy Solomon, and we are, uh, you know, where we left off last time, in a tent outside the Natick Police Station. I mean, I shouldn't say in a tent, I'm under a tarp, really, but close enough. Spent the night out here, and uh, now we're gonna get back on the road. No frills, just me, Strong, Nick, and Dog Meat. Let's get out there. First things first, let's pack up camp, eh? A what? Uh, there it is. Actually, that's not the way to do it. We do it this way. Tear that shit down. Alright. Simple as that. Now. Got uh, one in the hunt, one at the board of alcohol, drugs, tobacco, firearms, and lasers, and one at the Malden PD. Looks like uh, the Bad Tiffle Regional Office is the closest, so let's head there. that first one. Jesus. Nope. Because we need things. Because we're alive. Buddies. Oops. Nobody else wants to fucking play. All right. Toast. Stealth boy. Sure. Sure, buddy. Whatever you want to tell yourself to sleep at night. I don't know where the hell you people got off to. Clearly far away from me. And apparently strong as fucking wrecking your life. There we go. Saved your ass, Nick. Oh, Raider Rascal! 
but you did. They're strong. You're not very smart, are you, strong? I don't know why I asked that. I know you're not very smart. Oh, oh, shit. Look at me go. Get him, buddy. Bedtime for Bonzo. Sparta? Is this Sparta? Later. What what are you doing in the cage? Are you reaping kids? Not no more, you're not. You say you're gonna fight and make them dead? I mean, alright. shooting straight, rookie. Yeah? Called skating straight, bro. Well, howdy. I think we're back where we started. Gone in one big circle. Oh, I know you're here. We'll find you. Will you? Blam. Hopefully that's everybody. Victor spoiled. Yeah, sure. Who's Victor? <clears throat> now, we can explore this place at ease. I didn't even know there's an attack dog here. I missed him altogether. Alright, what do we get going on in here? Oh, exciting music. Settle down strong. Alright, so they get bullets. Mini nukes. I don't really need a fat man, but I'll take your whiskey. Not the empties. Detective Valentine. Nick. Listen, I'm sorry. You've got every right to be upset. You need to believe me when I tell you I had no idea. Operation Winter's End was my baby. I believed in it. I still believe in it. It kept us all in the dark, me included. I got briefed this afternoon, and they laid it all out. The whole thing. We just deal with the DA, his agreement to bring down the other families, his idea to record the holotapes and incriminate all known associates, and them needing a legitimate op and a real task force to make it all look like Winter was the focus. It was the plan all along, Nick. There's nothing we can do. Winter was a stoolie for the feds. He reported directly to the BAD TFL, all on the books. For his cooperation, Winter will be granted total immunity. It's over. Effective immediately, Operation Winter's End is to cease all investigations and operations. The task force is hereby disbanded. We played our part, pal. Not the part we thought, but hey, it happened. Now we're just another box in the file room. Nick, listen to me. Everything that's happened with Winter, with Jenny, it's more than any one man should have to handle. You need help. Boston PD has been working with the eggheads at CIT. Some new program oh. to deal with trauma. Scanning brain well, That explains it. <clears throat> I'll get you the info. Going. That's an order. Well, now we know why Valentine, uh... Let his brain get scanned. That's it. Give me the shit. Human junk. Worst kind of human junk. Oh, there's worse. For antiques, huh? Trust me, there's worse.
got it. Why is the shitter locked? What kind of sense does that make? Fens District. All right. Picking up a lot of chatter recently from Eddie Winter's boys asking after a Jennifer Lands of South Boston. Ran background on the name, and turns out she's engaged to Nick Valentine, one of the detectives running Operation Winter's Ends. Request made to superiors to fast-track the two of them for witness protection, or at least inform them of danger, but request was denied. Higher-ups don't want to compromise ongoing be bad tiffle investigation. Oh, uh, that's fucked up. Should have blown up the fucking BD B A D T F L, Nick. I I didn't want the uh, cutting board, but oh well. Hey, my junk is not useless, all right. My junk works just fine. Don't let no one tell you different. Handcuffs. What kind of kinky shit have these raiders been getting up to? Nice. Mm, a magazine? that. File corrupted. I'm getting too old for this shit. If I have to deal with one more loose cannon officer playing by his own rules, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. If it's not Willison destroying private property again, it's that maniac Gibbs putting his life on the line. I swear, the whole squad is the reason I got this also. If the heartburn doesn't get me, it's the constant trips to the bathroom. Getting old is a bum deal. Thank God, only three more days until retirement. Then I can maybe take the RV out to the woods, rent a cabin, and finally finish my novel. Well, sorry, Sergeant Mallory. Mm, where's the safe? know what safe they're talking about. Oh, who's doing drugs? Uh, Nick? Anything you want to tell me? What did you pick up a jet habit? Right, well, whatever. If Nick wants to sh fucking do jet, let him do jet. I ain't mad about it. Tough. Not giving me a lot to work with here. Not giving me any cheats either. Are you doing this to you, boy? Actually, only do weights. Nice. 
Luke Paul Jackson bail posted. Opie Hurst. Jake Reed, Reds, whatever. Yeah, none of this is very interesting. Oh, here we go. Message to Alexander Strelnikov. My esteemed Mr. Strelnikov, I know someone of your profession values discretion above all else. But I have to honestly say, screw that. I mean, come on. One bullet, halfway across town, and you blew Ron Trevio's head clean off. You, sir, are an artist. Are all the assassins from Russia as good as you? I seriously doubt it. But listen, your secret's safe with me. Eddie Winter, signing off. Mm, inserted. No, it can't be internal. Could be believes, but it's not. Can't be defeated. So what? Nope. Miss. Nope. Um, let's try this again. Def. E. Ted. Yes, yeah, so no. Definitely can't be defeated. Desolate. Uh, yeah, I guess it could be desolate. That's it. I guess it is desolate. But I don't need to turn on the protectron. So fuck it. Back to the start. All right. I suppose we should let those kids out of the cell, huh? Probably had a bad enough time getting raped by raiders. Yeah, I suppose we could give them some clothes. Hi there. Here, have some spike armor. Uh, what do you got? Give me your road leathers. Hey, sweetie. There, now get out of here. Now you look like raiders, so nobody will fuck with you. All right, on to the next tape. Smart in that spiked armor, kid. So we got three more. Apparently, one's in Nahant, one's in the Fens, and one is in Malden. Let's head to Malden and then work our way back. Shooting that cow? Leave the goddamn cow alone. Something Strong was shooting me for a minute. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Alright, 
I guess this is the Malden P Police. And cuffs and coffee pots. The important things in life. Mr. Cooper. Did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. No worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish her fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, sub shop, car yard, doesn't matter where he ends up. I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So. As long as Johnny Senior never finds out what happened to his little meatball, we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. That is racist against Italians, let me tell you what. Alright, let's see. That was a nice, quick and easy one. Let's keep it moving. To Nahant. How do I get up there? Hmm. Ah, there we go. It's the evidence lockup. Message to Sal Bosconi. You and I clearly need to talk. About Danfors, about the Montrano mess, about everything. I think we both agree that our attempts to improve North-South relations have been a complete failure. Look, I take full responsibility for the behavior of my guys. I expect you to do the same for that moron Montrano. But what happened in Danvers? I hardly know what to say. Your people turned that theater into a slaughterhouse. Those people are dead on your orders, not mine. And for no conceivable reason I can see. So let's meet. Just the two of us. Talk it all out. You name the time and place. Eddie Winter, signing off. Alright. Nine down and one to go. This guy a fucking horrible criminal, but it turns out he's a terrible fucking snitch, too. You know what they say. Snitches get stitches. Looks like we're heading to the BPD. I don't want to 
don't know about any of your fluids, Nick, alright? That's just weird. Oh, well, hello. Hello, Mr. Bugs. Hey, fuck off. Fucking step on you. Ain't no live and let live with bugs. Don't say. Oh, hell yeah. Message to Rodrigo Palomar. Okay, my friend. I thought about it. And I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. Zilch. You heard me right. You get nothing. Yes, you cracked the safe. And yes, we got the diamonds. But you also tripped the alarm. Mackie got pinched, and that's entirely your fault. Now, when he gets out, Mackie's gonna want your head on a platter. I'm gonna give him your share instead. I see you're getting off easy. Eddie Winter, signing off. Oh, snap. <laughs> Something you need? So, Ema is dead. I guess all that talk he had about being my brother hardly matters now. No, I've never seen a robot cry. You gonna be alright? No. No, I don't think I will be. Don't get me wrong. I've taken a lot of knocks. But this one hit a little too close to home. Yeah. Let's just hit the road, all right? I don't think I can talk about this anymore. Well, let's talk about okay. something else. Go ahead. Nick. So, you got something for me? Maybe a pocket full of tapes belonging to an old ghoul? Yes, these are hall tapes in my pocket. I'm not just happy to see you. Yeah. Here, take them. Look at that. Wow. That's some real solid detective work. They're older than dirt, but they've got Eddie's paw prints all over them. These are the real deal. And they've still got the code pieces in them. Let me run them through the old processor. Where are you putting the hall tapes? One, nine, five, three, seven, two, eight, four, zero, six. That old thug's holed up in Andrew's station. Let's go bring down Eddie Winter. You're still assuming he's still alive. Even ghouls gotta eat, don't they? I don't know. He's hiding out in a subway station too, huh? Did you say something about a meatball shop? Well, this place, if I remember, is usually crawling with raiders. Explode, my friend. Get some. Oops. Oh, fuck 
you. That's that gun foo. It's the good shit. Later. Good job, Strong. Hi there. in that deep, alright. I ain't gonna stop you. I don't know if I want anything that you find down there, but you never know what these raiders might be keister stashing. Yeah, but you're not. Oh. Not for long, anyways. Next time, fight better. I mean, simplistic but good advice. up. Why do I have an adjustable wrench? Got a lot of shit I don't know why I have. Good enough. Let's not keep any waiting, huh? What the? What the, huh? What? Huh? Was it? saying That's not human junk, that's jangles. Hi there.
Alright, let's see here. No, oh, looks like somebody took out the protectron. Oh wait, no, it's still alive. Okay. It's just got its legs blown off. <laughs> you don't see that every day. When you're right, you're right, Strong. Got it. Strong hates locks. What do locks ever do to you, bro? Oh, hi. If you see something, say something. <clears throat> I thought I saw something. Yes, we're not. Hi. Oh, man, there was a fourth one. I could have really gun food. Nick, how did you get so far ahead of me? <laughs> Nick seems to know where he's going, so I'm going to follow him. It's like there's a fight club down here. Neato. Give me them caps, bro. I don't understand why you are garbage. Alright, is this it, Nick? Is this the place, buddy? right on the other side of that door. Why don't you do the honor? Sure. One nine five three seven two eight four zero six. Can't believe I remembered that. Fuck. Who the fuck are you? Ah, hey kid, don't you remember me, brother? It's Sully from the neighborhood, dude. Eddie, it's me, your old pal. Seamus McFuck yourself. All this time, and the first person to walk through my door is a wise ass. Why, thank Why you. you have been a sexy blonde? Just how the fuck did you get... No. No way. Not after all this time. Don't tell me you actually cracked my code. In the hollow tapes? <laughs> well, hey. It's only been, what? 200 years? <laughs> well, look. I'm not sure what you thought you'd find. Gold, jewels, the secrets of the universe. But you get me. One guy. A ghoul, I guess you'd call me. Just living, surviving, and what I got, you can't have. That code? It was a joke. I just wanted to prove how dumb those feds were. Turns out, pretty dumb. So take your asses someplace else. I'm not going anywhere until I get what I came for. Yeah? And what's that? And who are you, huh? You look kind of familiar, but what are you, some kind of robot? Is that what it's like out there now? A world of robot overlords? I knew it. Robots. Name's Valentine. Nick Valentine. Remember me? Valentine? The cop? Is that who you're supposed to be? Sorry, pal, but you ain't Nick Valentine. You're just some kind of, uh, machine. You killed my fiance, Jennifer Lance. Some crimes even you can't get away with, Winter. Your fiancé? You mean Valentine's fiancé. Pretty girl. A shame what happened to her. But hey, you? Or, you know, the real Valentine? He should have backed off when he had the chance. But what gives, Robot Man? 
Why do you even care? Some girl gets whacked 200 years ago, and you come into my home acting like a hot guy? Christ, look at you. You're not even alive. Then I guess I'm in good company. Oh, snap. One shot. <clears throat> Took his head clean off. And Strong enjoyed it. Hey, Valentine. We're done here. There's one more thing I've got to do. I wouldn't mind the company if you wanted to tag along. Right. Hey, when you were in Dima's memories, did you find anything? Any proof about what really happened between us? Uh, yeah, I did. Here you go. A special episode of The Lost Tales of Nick Valentine. Thanks, smartass. Let me run through this real quick. Dino really did help me escape the Institute. I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. I must have still been in a haze from one of the Institute's experiments on me. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the daylights out of me and leave me for dead? Damn it. Why can't I remember? Because you're old, man. This is how it starts. Next, you'll be forgetting your keys and thinking I'm your great uncle from Southie. Yeah, you always know just what to say. I'm a funny but guy, what can I say? Proof Dima and I had history, and I got it. Now I just gotta figure out what to do. Should I give him a chance? Uh -huh. Try to accept him as my brother? He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. Well, he's kinda dead, Nick. I guess the question is... What do you want, Nick? Do you want a brother in your life? A dead one. If I did, would I want Dima to be that brother? I guess no one gets to choose their family, but when your family is built in a lab, well, things get uh, weird. Hey, tell me about it. I've been through several lives. I've had several families. I think you already know the answer. You don't need me to tell you. Huh. Maybe next time we swing by Acadia, I'll try to be a little nicer to the old simp. Nick, you're confused. He's already dead. Thanks, by the way. I wouldn't know the truth without you. Anyways, go do whatever it is you gotta do while I, uh, loot the fucking hell out of, uh, Eddie Winter's fucking shit. Actually, hold on. It's at the terminal first. Nope. Nope. Mm, possibly. Sweet. Stupid computers. Just smack. And that's your answer to everything, Strong. Sweet. Why so many locks? Eddie's peace. My peace. Why was he carrying a tarberry? Heads up. Yeah, submachine gun. I guess he must have ventured out at some point, because why else would he have caps? Keeping beer in his uh, Nuka Cola machine, that's pretty sweet. And he had a sweet bowler. Oh, here we go.
guy's a fucking genius. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but he had this theory. The right kind of radiation exposure at the right amounts, it can change human cells. Mutate them. Baby, I can live forever. Yeah, I know. You could kill me. I'm willing to chance it, but I can't risk losing you. So I'm the guinea pig. And I've been getting treatments. But don't worry. I'm fine. More than fine. I feel great. Amazing, even. I think this crazy shit's really working. Eventually, this war will blow over. And when it does, I'm gonna walk out onto Boston and pick up where I left off. I'm gonna own the future. But you I'm never did. By then, of course. But let's not dwell on the negative. So look, you come to the sub shop tomorrow night. You and I will go into the shelter together. Seal it up and wait for the big kaboom. Just, uh, you might want to prepare yourself a little. Mentally and such, I look a little different now. My love is only skin deep, right? Instead, it's I who will own the future, ready? So this must be the actual basement of the sub shop. Yeah, there we go. This looks like a sub shop. This is it. In this spot, 200 years ago, one of Eddie's boys put a bullet in Jenny Lamb's back. Now Eddie's as dead as Jenny. Hey, Valentine. All I know is that without you, Eddie'd still be at large. No, just as long as you put that bullet in his head. Otherwise, he might be coming for our brains. Now, all we have to worry about is Zombie Eddie coming to seek revenge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Zombie Eddie we took care of back there. But regardless of form, winter was it. The only reminder left of the original Nick Valentine. The last bit of his business settled. I'm not sure how I feel. Well, now you get to be your own man then. So man up. Don't you see, Nick? You're finally free. There is no other Nick anymore. Just you. No, I wish it was that easy. But it's not. Because I was Nick Valentine. I had his memories, his fears, all that poor bastard's hope. And I remember getting the call to head to some lab in Cambridge to get that neurotrans whatever. And the next thing I know, I'm in a trash heap. My family, my home, my entire life, gone. Then I discover all those things that they weren't even mine. Everything I ever was belonged to <coughs> Hope with winter gone, the last hint of that old world snuffed out, I could, I could finally be free. Being out here with you, what I, what I finally realized after all this time was that taking down winter, it wasn't about Nick or Jenny or even you or me. It was about justice, about doing what's right, and that act of goodness, that's ours. All the good we've done, that's ours, and ours alone. And even if that's the only thing in this world that I can ever claim as mine, not Nick's, not the Institute's, but mine, then I can die happy. And none of it would have ever happened if it weren't for you. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to thank you for that. Well, you could sure attempt to thank me. I take all kinds of payments. But please feel free to try. Caps, armaments, real estate. Huh. Wise to the end. Well, come on then. That's I'm your boy. Not anyone standing around here. Yeah, that is if you're, if you're still interested in traveling together. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted some time on your own after all this. Yeah, I do think I need some time on my own. It might be best if we went our separate ways. Suit yourself. Guess I'll head on home. Let's see what this perk's all about.
one extra guess and 50% faster terminal, terminal cooldown when hacking, and my attacks and vats cost 10% less. Now that's pretty fucking nice. Dig it. Alright, well, with that out of the way, let's head back to the vault. Take a look at how things are progressing. Looks like they've loaded the front up with a whole bunch of uh, turrets. Still nothing in the security office. Whoa, now this is what we're talking about. This is looking like the beginnings of a real vault. Still uh, clearly under, you know, work, but... <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on up in here. Alright, so here's our hydroponics lab. Looking good. We got a fancy little bar area. Very nice. Little kitchen. We got a bathroom over here. And another bathroom where we recycle the water. This looks like our residential area. Still clearly under construction, but you know, certainly looking looking better. It's all enclosed now for the most part. What the hell is this guy? Yeah. There's some jerk visiting the, the vault. Looks like there's gonna be a store up here of some kind, but it ain't open yet. Another residential area. Um is there a chicken in here somewhere? Hey. Bedroom. This one's like a legit vault bedroom. And another. And this is where the overseer hangs out, I guess. All right. I wonder if she made herself an office. Well, technically she's not the overseer, but don't tell her that. Alright, here we go. Alright, this must be her office with the uh, old overseer's desk, but it's clearly just a shitty storage room. They're doing something to appease her. Up here, looks like we have Frankie's real overseer's office. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice view. This place is coming along nicely, I must say. Somebody's sleeping up here. There's a cow nearby, apparently. sounds, but I don't know where they're coming from. So I certainly don't see any chickens or brahmin out here. Hmm. Well, I like what they've uh, done with the place so far, and Looks like they're not too far away from doing something else with the place, so maybe we'll have to check back in a little bit. Right now, I think we're going to go tie up some uh, loose ends with um, some of all the experiments I've been running in Nuka World. Um, it's been a while. Also, I think I might head to Spectacle Island and uh, see about see about getting the, uh, the solar array online. So uh, let's head over there first.
No. Oh, hello. That's a lot of raiders. As you can see, change of plans. We decided to uh, come to Nuka World first instead. Um, I actually did uh, do some work um, while I was building up some of the settlements on um, the uh, the solar array at Spectacle Island. And I ended up getting um, some kind of encrypted schematics for something, which I was able to decrypt at the uh, at the computer lab. Um, and it seems to be a Euclid Sea Finder, like the one I had uh, back out in uh, New Vegas. <coughs> <coughs> However, the actual schematics uh, were beyond me, um, so I was referred to my referred by my person at the Advanced Weapons Lab to a guy by the name of Q, who has apparently come to my Advanced Weapon Lab in Nuka Galaxy. So we're gonna head over there. We already uh, passed the schematics along to him, so now we're going to see what he has to say about them. And while we're here, I believe there are a few other experiments we can run. Welcome to the gun show. All right, I think I've got it figured out, but you're going to need to fetch some materials. Mm, okay, where? Where do I start? Bugger, if I know, you're the explorer. Hey, don't tell me to bugger you. I'll get right on it. Great, get on with it then. All right, gonna need plastic. Copper, glass, and some microfusion cells. That's easy enough. Technical stuff. Satellite orbit calculations for Archimedes, too. Well, that could be difficult. Suppose I could check my um, my observatories. Microtransponder board synced with Helios Tower. Hmm. Maybe I'll check my, uh, my tech salvage yards for that. And Poseidon uplink codes. Hmm. That's probably going to mean going to uh, Poseidon Energy. Right. Well, we're here. Uh, yeah, let's check the microfusion uh, thing. And the medical thing. And then I'll head over to um, uh, Nuka Kingdom, and uh, I have my hydration research facility over there. We can check in on that. The hell are you? Oh, wait, I guess you're my settler that runs this place. Alright, get out of my way. Strainer. Reserve your tickets now 
and be the first to ride our angry anaconda coaster opening soon. My angry As anaconda don't want none. I was never one for fury. I couldn't stand it. Still can't. But in the interest of helping the Commonwealth, I got myself addicted so that I could test some recipes on myself. My strainer will never be the same after that. Neither will my armor, or the ceiling, or the doors around here. None of the doors survived. But I have a concoction that helps. Too bad I didn't write any of it down. I sort of remember crushing something. Tarberry or carrots. I know, this, I, know I sterilized the melon to hell and back. Glad I infused the carrot water and labeled it before this whole experiment began, though. Note, buy restraints and ask for help next time. This one smells like a freshly cleaned, aired out blanket, and it tastes like purple flowers, warm sweet rolls, and stretching out after a long nap. Mind yourself, format the recipe better from this. Something tarberry, something melon, and... Uh, or sterilized... Uh, sterilized melon and carrot infused water. Alright, I might have to experiment a little bit for this one. Let me go get some uh, supplies, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got a few, uh, a few of the things, and we're gonna try uh, experimenting a bit. Start with uh, crushing up some tarberry. That one we're fairly certain of. Just a reminder for our guests okay. that tonight's bout at the Robco Battle Zone uh, is all right, we need to out. infuse some um, carrot. We need carrot infused water. Let's try. I forget how to infuse. Let's try double soaking it. Uh, aid. Tours for Star Control are now full for the day. Please speak to a park concierge for additional information. There we go. Carrot infused water. Now we just need melon. Sterilized. Or something. I guess steaming it maybe twice. Don't forget to stake out a good spot for the Biztop Mountain Fireworks Spectacular this evening. Show starts promptly at 9 p.m. Nope, that didn't do it. <clears throat> uh, maybe soaking it and then burning it? Attention. We're happy to announce that Mad Mulligan's minecart ride has finally reopened, with stronger restraints following last year's tragedy. Try steaming it and then burning it. Just a reminder that Nuka World is not responsible for injuries sustained by the audience during the Cola Clowns Comedy Cavalcade. Maybe soaking it and then steaming it? Hmm. Maybe if I just double burn it? Remember to show your park admission stuff to get half off an order of Nuka fries at Cappy's Cafe in Nuka Town, USA. Oh, not the tea. Just want a regular melon. Tourist 
toasted. Nuka World is proud to announce the grand reopening of our World of Refreshment ride. Now featuring delicious Nuka Cola Quantum. Burnt. Hmm. Maybe if I toast it and then steam it. Give that a try. Nuka World is proud to announce the grand reopening of our World of Refreshment ride. Now featuring delicious Nuka Cola Quantum. Hmm. Read the goddamn thing again. Sterilize the melon to hell and back. Uh, hmm. I don't know what sterilized means. Burnt? Or double steamed? Let's try the wilted. Lost track of Carrot, or crushed chaberry, carrot infused water. And we'll guide maps for our hedge maze are available for confused Malice. visitors at the Safari Adventure Park office for only $35. Um. All right, we've got a thing. Whether it's the right thing, I don't know. But we're about to find out. And if not, remember where the emergencies are. Emergency shower. And emergency meds. And decontamination arch. Unknown sample, here we come. Tokens for the Midway Games are available at any one of the marked token dispensers in Dry Rock Gulch. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Yeah, that one didn't work. Alright, well, let's try this again. This time... Sickness bags are available for our more sensitive customers. At the entrance to the Stampede Carousel... I'll try the burned one. Water, crushed charberry, and burnt melon. Tokens for the Midway Games are available at any one of the marked token dispensers in Dry Rock Gulch. Alright, well, we've got a thing. This time it appears to be an injection. Nuka World 
Now, I feel like sterilizing is going to use the steam plate. We've tried Bunsen burnering it first, and we've tried soaking it first. We haven't tried crushing it first. I don't really understand why that would work, but let's give it a try. Let's crush a melon. And then steam it. Alright. That's how you make sterilized melon, I guess. Attention. Whatever. We're happy to announce that Mad Mulligan's right. minecart Carrots. ride has finally reopened with stronger restraints following Crushed. last year's tragedy. And sterilized. Like another injection of some sort. Nice sneeze guard. While touring the gorilla house, let's hope third time's a charm. To any of our oh yeah. Lullaby, hey. which will cure fury addiction. Alright, well. <clears> There's <throat> apparently a lot of these goddamn recipes. a fusion core charger that will re recharge fusion cores. Right. Sweet. Don't forget to stake out a good spot for the Fizz Top Mountain Fireworks Spectacular this evening. Right. Show starts and as we said, we're going to head over to Nuka Kingdom. I'll head right to King Cole's Castle because it's where it's near. My uh, hydration station. There's the place. Well, that was lucky. I came in this morning and found a huge cache of Nuka-Cola. Let the experiments continue. Hopefully today's participants will be a bit more useful. Finding candidates who aren't completely out of shape or whose blood isn't laced with booze and chems is becoming pretty difficult. Well, my blood's laced with booze and chems, but I am healthy. Hmm. Is this the experiment room? Guess it is. Oh. Hello, who are you? I'm glad you agreed to come in and help us out today. I had a whole spiel ready for you, but you're just here for the free Nuka Cola, right? Sure. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like there's a lot of competition for the post. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I even had a couple raiders clean themselves up and try to apply. Let's see what you've got. What I need is fairly simple. You just have to drink one of these flavors of Nuka, and I get your reaction. Then we move on to the next one. Easy, right? Yeah, well, Strong's so watching you. Relatively clean, at least compared to everyone else. I think that we'll be able to get a lot of useful data. Seems logical to me. I promise. This will be a lot of fun. Hardly anyone gets sick. We can start whenever you're ready. Wait. 
What now? What was that in there about people getting sick? Well, yeah. You sit people down and have them guzzle down one radioactive soda after another, you get the occasional upset tummy. Don't worry, I have sawdust, a mop, and a box of Abraxo on standby. Oh, and some water to clean up and get the taste out. I've got that on standby, too. Really, though, you shouldn't need it. All right. Of course. Let's do it. Let's drink some Nuka Cola. Cola Classic. Hmm. Don't worry about thinking too hard on this one. Everyone knows what the classic tastes like. It's really just so we have something to compare the others to. I mean, there's still a few things we can learn, I'm sure, but it's just Nuka, you know? But anyway, first question. What's the first thing that came to mind when you tasted this Nuka Cola? Hmm. I woke up. And the world still sucks. So, today's been great. Well, uh, mm, free sodas? Fair Let's enough. Just move on. So, what are you feeling right now? Mm, I'm excited, I guess. Great. Just try to enjoy yourself. There's a lot of questions, but no wrong answers. Go ahead and give the Nuka Cherry a try. Never cared much for the cherry. This is a pretty divisive flavor. People either love it or hate it. What does it make you feel? <laughs> not pure. It's not purified, but it's something. All right, so there's been some changes to the flavor due to exposure, but overall, do you think it's held up all right? Uh-huh. No. Uh -oh. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. What do you think? Just trying to be thorough, but sure, let's move on. This is some great data. I can definitely use this. Now, can you? Really? Here says, this one is good for the libido. Oh, so, well. So, me a little bit about your love life. Just say whatever comes to mind. It's my top priority. Hmm. Damn right it is. Not a very graphic description, but in line with what I was hope expecting. Wait, Finally, what now? The grand finale, Nuka Cola Quantum. I'm pretty excited for results of this one, so please go ahead. The old ads say that Quantum is supposed to give you everything that you love about regular Nuka Cola, but doubled. Taste, energy, um, calories. Mm -hmm. Did you know that in addition to an 18th flavor, they added a strong radioactive additive? I did know that. The name of the additive. I think it was strong team. Anyway, the radiation is what makes it glow. It might be what gives you so much energy when you drink it, too. Maybe I'll get superpowers. I hope the color of my energy is blue. Now, how about those questions? You know the drill by now. Let's get your reactions. Cold and refreshing. Oh, that's interesting. It wasn't even chilled. Could it be that the combination of ingredients and the radiation creates an enhanced cooling sensation? Perhaps. Last question. You're offered a lifetime supply of Nuka Cola Quantum, but in exchange, you will have to pay enough caps to buy three years of food for your settlement. Do you accept the deal or just walk away? Mm. Well, I, I would if I had the money. Fair enough. Uh, that's not what I was hoping I for, but okay. The does assume that you actually have that many caps on hand. We'll mark it as a yes, though. And there we go. I've got a lot of notes written down here, and it should really help to continue this research. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem. All right. Well, that's that. Now, about getting those supplies. I guess the first thing to do is going to be to head to uh, Poseidon Energy, which I want to say that there's one down here, somewhere, in this general vicinity. I think we walked by it on our way to Work Homestead. So let's head over there.
Alright, let's get a little traveling tunage. Hey, it's me. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna guess this uh, factory over here is uh, what we're looking for. Speaking of big iron. Sorry, friendships. Yeah. What Strong said. Tasty food. Sure, I'll have some fried frog crawler. And uh, maybe some grilled... Well, let's see. Yeah, I still need more food. Some grilled hermit crab. Delicious. Ooh. Boom. I see you fools. Pretty good. Yeah. Cowards. Oh, hi. Kerblam. Strong's having fun. Nobody's here. Now, let's see, let's see. We've maxed out Gun Fu now.
shooting through walls, motherfucker. Wow, well, I still could uh, amp up my pistol damage a lot. I should do that next time. Since I mainly use pistols. Hey, puppy. Raider Anarchy. Cool. Cuddy. I'm just gonna let this play out. Oops. Oh, Cuddy's still alive? How did that even happen? You're a tough bird, Cuddy. Not tough enough, but... Surviving the uh, detonation of your fusion core is pretty tough. Hey, fuck off. Get tired of your bullshit. Yoink and yoink. Ooh, a magazine and a bobblehead. Yes. All right, Tesla science. Enemies hear us. An endurance bobblehead. That's pretty fucking nice. Endurance sucks. I need to maybe up that at some point. But now I could get Aqua Boy. What the hell is that thing? down to the floor. Oh, hi. Get out of here. Fucking dumb kids. Yeah, especially their jet and medics. Hey, folks, time for some news. So, actually, this time it's more addressing some rumors than anything else. I'm sure many of you have heard tales of the railroad, a group working to free synths who are trying to escape the institute. While it's impossible to say for sure, they may actually be out there. If so, makes sense that they're keeping a low profile. It's a dangerous idea, and it's met by some very mixed reactions around the Commonwealth. I guess if you are out there, good luck not getting caught. The next one is Keep a Knockin' by Louis Jordan. Sweet. Worst kind of you, Joe. 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 Worst k
Good advice. When your digestion is upset and you feel headachy and irritable, take Carter's little liver pill. You see, each day nature normally produces about two pints of a vital digestive juice to help no digest your food. Human. If nature fails, your food may remain undigested, leaving you headachy and irritable. To feel cheerful and happy again, take Carter's little Oh, liver. hi. They increase the flow of the Fuck you. Often in as little as 30 minutes. And you are Don't depend on pistol whip you kids. When Carter's little liver bills aid digestion after nature's Ah, Christ, this place is a maze. How do I get out of here? Or there we go. Only twenty five cents. Down, down, down. But this is a dead end. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. in from above. I don't know if I can get over there. Uh, there's a door here. Where does that door come from? Okay. Yeah, this must be it. Alright. Now, nah, I want to go in here, I think. touch anything. Use the roof access. We don't want this floor waking up too. Too late. I think I may have set the alarms off. Hi! Who stuffed you in a locker, Strong? security alert, but I guess not. Yeah, well, plasma cartridges. Are you kidding me? Alright, that goes outside. And down, I think, is where we want to go, though. The sub levels. What up, players? drink water, huh? I would have assumed you drank blood or something. That's it. Yes. 
must make strong nose itchy. You're a weird guy. Oh, hi. Yeah, bitch. Fight better, punk. Oh, hello. Shoot me with lasers. Get out of here. Yes, I will take your crispy squirrel bits and I will like them. You really don't like dust, huh? This is the way I came. What the hell is that? I don't know. Alright, that drops off. That just goes around the corner. Okay, so this is the only... <clears throat> the only way to go. Reports suggest the chem deal gone bad. Outside Diamond City. The tales are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened... It's pretty reliable. While there's no... Official... Fuck off. Oh, that's what that noise was. Okay. Uh, where was that staircase down? I know I saw it. Or not a staircase, but just a path that went down. There we go. Are you able to trust your own team? Not everyone can. Not a man whose arms have been crippled by a bully. There are thousands of stable polio survivors who must depend on someone else to help them perform the crap. Most cool. Nope. Many polio Need it is. Right now, there are 100,000 survivors of crippling polio who need help. They need to be $9 to pay for expensive care and equipment. Your contribution will provide trained hands to keep the polio survivor out of work with his addiction. Thanks to you, a polio starred life will work again. Remember, your generosity is the one hope of thousands for whom soft vaccine came too late. Join the 1958 Mark of Dime. Could be. Nice. Nice. This should have been transferred out to the Helios project. Ari, when you see this, be sure to erase this terminal so we don't get burned next time those GI guys are touring the place. Boom. Uplink codes. That is what we needed. Alright. Got what we came for, so let's get the fuck out of here. Observatories. Doink. Yes.
don't think my own town is going to ambush me strong. Q's taking up residence here too, huh? I'd have to uh, check their findings on a regular basis. But let's try going to the uh, tech salvage. See if we can find a transponder. Boom! A transponder. Alright, well, with this weather, I don't think we're going to have much luck. Citizens of the Commonwealth, it is I, Elder Maxon of the Brotherhood. Ah, gotcha. Solomon here. How's everybody doing? Up next is the much luck we're going to have with this weather, either. Telling us about those streets. Come on, clear up. Now, I do have that um, weather control machine. I suppose I could use that. And a uh, sun-making holotape. Make sure the panels are all properly aligned. see uh, light beams coming up off all these now. Now let's try to sync this transponder. Boom. Alright, so all we need now are the uh, findings. So let's uh, let's wait till tomorrow and uh, see if we can get the uh, orbit calculations. Accentuate the positive. You appreciate the things that make life just a little easier. Instance, All right, let's go check the uh, observations. Like this regular walking fashion place. And when they 
get to the dance. This time, in a different part of the sky, I saw a satellite that Posi with Poseidon Energy written on it. Poseidon Energy? They got up into space. I wonder if they ever talked to aliens. Wow, what a great night with a great view. Hmm, right. I guess those are our calculations. Um, let's head back to uh, Nuka World for now. Looks like we have another... Uh, thing for the hydration research and um, we'll give this shit to Q. They're spinning wheels and their looms and their newfangled technology. Screw mother. What do they talk about? Mostly about the time when they'll get married and have their own families to take care of. Sometimes when the Indians put wow. a surprise attack on the fort, the gals are called out to take their place at the stockade to keep the muskets loaded, or maybe fire one themselves. Yeah, that's what a weekend date meant to the gals in 1790. But to them it was just part of the routine. Because like their folks, they worked and fought so living it'd be easier in the future. The future that you're now protecting. Killing engines and talking about having babies. Those were good times. Thanks to Bob Crosby for that one. Right. We can probably get uh, some of the other stuff we need out of here. Copper, plastic. Worry, worry, worry. Which is something Travis Lonely Miles refuses to do. Not like that old guy. Am I right? Friends, it's certainly true that when you smoke, you want smoothness, mildness, and deep down enjoyment. And that's precisely what you'll get with every lucky strike you light, because there's never a rough pup in a lucky. Just think of that, friends. Luckies are always smooth, mild, and mellow, every puff of the way. For you see, it takes fine tobacco to make a fine cigarette. And LS what else did I need? Lucky strike means fine tobacco. Now, fine tobacco costs more, and luckies pay more. That's right. Luckies pay millions of dollars more than official parity prices. Glass. To get right, mellow tobacco for your lucky strike. Just listen for a moment to what the tobacco experts say about the kind of leaf Lucky Strike buys. Take Mr. L. Garland Griffin, a tobacco auctioneer from Clarksville, Virginia, who recently said, All in all, I've sold over 100 million pounds of tobacco. And season after season, I've seen Lucky Strike buy fine tobacco. Prime, right leaf. Mm -hmm. The kind of tobacco for downright good smoking. I've smoked Lucky's regularly for 14 years. Now there's a tip for you, friends, from a man who really knows tobacco. Mm, tobacco. Down smoking enjoyment, light up a lucky. You'll agree with the tobacco expert. The millions who use lucky for a finer, milder, smoother smoke. Yes, pump after pump, pack after pack. There's never a rough pump in a lucky. Good reason to make your next start. Can you say so, boss? It's always something with you people. Alright, fine. Uh, looks like the uh, medical progress has been made as well. Let's go check on that. Looks like there's new developments at the vault. I'm gonna have to check back in on that before too long. That'd be a good thing to do while we're waiting for Q to do his thing here. Caravan guards. The majesty and the pageantry of King Cola's court. Tickets for all showings available now at the Kitty Kingdom box office. 
Medex addic addiction seems kind of tame right up until you need to climb stairs, or ladders, or walk while chewing gum. Never had an issue with myself, but caravan guards always seem to be the ones who get hooked on this stuff. So while I get the initial rush and feeling of invulnerability that Medex gives you, it's probably comforting if you're having to be alert all the time. It's really nothing compared to other chems. When addicted, though, woofed. Not fun. I think this is one of my more pleasant recovery drinks, too. It tastes like sugar, zippiness, and walking backwards with a tray on your head. It smells like, well, blue. Note, apologize to the neighbors for the naked dancing on the roof while experimenting with this concoction. Remind yourself, format the recipe better from this. Boiled glowing fungus, dissolved corn, and three, and powdered gourd. Alright, well, let's go get some supplies and uh, work on this. Alright, so we get some supplies. Let me uh, read it again. I need boiled glowing fungus. Um, Just a reminder, which I think will be soaked and then, and then Bunsen. The Dissolved corn. Um, maybe the opposite. Burn it and then soak it. And powdered gourd, which is probably... Um, See, I think double mortar and pestling is flaked. Maybe, maybe burn it and then mortar and pestle it. The outbound tram to the Nuka World Transit Center will be leaving the park promptly at 11:55 p.m. Thank you. No wait, burn it first. Folks, I think by now we're all used to a little weirdness every once in a while. This tidbit really takes the cake, and you gotta believe me when I say. I'm not making this up. There have been reports of... I'm dead serious now. A Chinese submarine seen off the coast heading out to sea. How long it's been here and what it's been up to. Are anyone... There we go. Powdered gourd. Um, alright. We need three of the, um... Attention. All contestants... Dissolved corn. Must turn in their indemnity waivers before they will be allowed to participate. Here's one from Cold Porter that I don't think Diamond City Security would totally agree with. If it's anything goes. Toasted. Now let's soak it. Dreadful forces on Earth. International communism. It is more than 100 years old. Only in the last 20 years has communism become an important factor in the working and planning of the American public. Just a reminder to our guests that tonight's bout at the Robco Battle Zone is almost sold out. Purchase your tickets now. ...to mark in our happiness and economic well-being. What communism does, and America's reaction to it, today holds the fate of not only you and me, but of all mankind. The word communism, before Karl Marx began to make use of it, is an economic term. Not a political one. Webster's Collegiate Diction Communism as any system of social organization and goods are held in common. Thus, pure communism is a mode of living employed by a... Attention guests. In case of emergency, anti-venom is available at the exit for the reptile house. Our found is at Jamestown and the colony. And then, um, yeah, so then we need boiled glowing fungus. Everyone worked for the group, and the produce went into a common storehouse to be Soaked. sold out in equal shares. Quickly found that this mode of living would not work without the forfeiting of individual freedom, private ownership, and self-reliance. The communistic experiments at Jamestown and Plymouth Colony were the pure form And boiled. <clears throat> All right, let's mix this shit up. ...victims into quite a different system. But let's go back to this earthbound religion for midwives. Following under the banner of Marx and later that of Lenin Parents, and Stalin, if you're looking for a refreshing way to really make it through the day, try a Nuka Cola Dark. Same great cola taste as as with an alcohol twist. What was the other one? Um, powdered. A funeral dirge will be sung over the Soviet Republic or world capitalism. Oh. Let's give this shit a go. Lenin and his revolutionary goal to the Russian government in 1917 has been motivated and continues to be motivated 
This one appears to be a bottle of pills. Due to a mix-up at Safari Adventures Animal Waste Facility, apple juice will not be served this evening at the Four Leaf Fried Fish Restaurant. Also taught that communism cannot directly replace capitalism. It must work for the establishment of socialism as the key step toward communism. Marx stated it categorically. Lenin repeated it. So did Stalin. X-Med. Oh, there you go. It's a good name, I guess. Right. Let's head over to the kingdom. The committee of the United States Senate has reported that there are five million highly trained communists working secretly as fifth columnists in the 60 nations outside the Iron Curtain. With many power alike, wielding great influence, affecting the thinking and the actions of loyal Americans. Writing in the American magazine, J. Edgar Hoover, director of the FBI, said, from coast to coast, hardcore reds continue mm, to... Hardcore reds. Technique. My favorite kind. ...an artifice to capture the minds and control the behavior of loyal Americans. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have come to this and entrance or this place, but... I suppose I can collect some caps while I'm here. It never hurts to actually collect the taxes. Each of you will agree I so rarely actually do it. And even your self-preservation... That we know this evil force bet on world nomination and dedicate ourselves to resisting its growth. Next week we shall examine our own system, capitalism. But for now, praise be to the glorious the leader. Our glorious leader volunteered his time and gave us oh, they're talking about me. Gave us a great baseline baseline set of tests, so we now have useful data to compare with. Now that we have our control data, we'll need to start creating with some sample products to run experiments with. Local farm should be a good place to start. Leave no tato unturned. Hopefully they have some surplus crops to spare. Hmm. Does that mean they want potatoes? No, nope. let me go get some supplies. Alright, got some potatoes, And we're going to try just adding it to these plot stockpile and see if that works. There we go. That seems to have worked. Alright. Alright. Uh, with that all done... Um, let's check on... Let's check on the vault. Hopefully by the time we're done checking on the vault, Q will have finished up the weapon. And we can test that out, and then it's probably going to be time to call it a day. what they've done since last time. Somebody's constructing a business. Front looks about the same. Oh, they got a laser turret now, though. I guess they're stepping up defenses a bit. Security room still looks untouched. Somebody's starting a factory. All right. Looks like we had 11 people here now. Boy, look at this. You should know, people have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. Need to be properly equipped. Come out and 
Right, so now there's a desk right at the front. I don't know if that's the uh, entry desk or what. Ooh, maintenance tunnels. <clears throat> right, let's try if we can find the new businesses and whatnot. Hmm. Well, the bar's looking a little fancier. Hey, are you my? Are you one of my new settlers? No, you're just a visitor. Nothing new in the hydroponics lab. residential area is still pretty much the same. What are you guys doing in here? Uh, build some. Eh? And apparently they're gonna set up a salon in here, but it doesn't seem to be operational just yet. Nothing out there. Alright. There's a big empty room up here. Uh, looks to be a rec room. Bathrooms. Mm. Crafting area and a shooting gallery. Pretty nifty. Okay, now we're up on the top floor apparently. Oh, wow, get a library, a micro fish reader, and everything. Fancy, fancy. Hey. Oh, shit. They built a school. Alright. It's like another rec room. the gymnasium, I guess, for the school. Wow, it's got a locker room and everything. Hope you enjoyed that last number. Weight room. Could be a couple dudes lifting weights up here. Alright, we still haven't found the factory or the new houses, but... Chem deal gone bad. Outside Diamond City. Hmm. Tales are scarce, but it sounds like Not really sure what this is. While there's no official connection, it has been noted Bathrooms. that Diamond City resident Henry Cook went missing at approximately the same time. If we're able to verify any further details of this story, damn you. Pass them on. <laughs> Just another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? Ella knows not every day can be perfect. Here's into each life, some rain must fall. With our American servicemen in many countries around the world, these are standard bedrooms, not uh, bedroom plots. What might have seemed strange before is becoming pretty familiar to them. For instance, among the Mohammedans, to drink coffee with everybody is regarded as a simple rule of hospitality, a token of peace. The berries are roasted over a charcoal fire. The coffee's allowed to pour out. hope we find sugar, milk of human All this is traditional. All right, nothing up here. But as our servicemen have observed, it's, well, it's simply their version of our mid-morning coffee break or our afternoon tea party or our cocktail hour. It's a time for friends to sit down and relax. These are the bedrooms that were already here. With a cup of whatever beverage the individual takes. Maintenance room. 
Customs are the same. Those who are serving these customs, but our servicemen are helping to maintain the will of other people in other lands. Seer's office is still there. Looks like it's a little nicer now, but still, uh, still about the same. My room looks up to the gymnasium now, yeah. and I've got an exit out into the uh, into the caves. Checked. store there. Yeah, what is this all about? Some kind of storage room with a Christmas tree. Clinic. Okay, that's useful. Some kind of maintenance reactor room. Idea where the factory is. I mean, I suppose it could be out in the cave somewhere. I don't think I want an armor shop, so let's change this up. Furniture store seems good. Still never found a new residence either. Explore the place on my own a little bit, and uh, once I find the shit, I'll uh, come back and show you. Don't jump to conclusion, but... Alright, so I did some exploring, and uh, I found a few things that the uh, good folks of Vault 88 have set up. They've appeared to... Uh, this is at the depths of that um, cave that was very uh, rich in uranium. And uh, at the very back end of it, they seem to have set up a speakeasy. 
I don't know why they need a speakeasy. I mean, but I don't know. Get away from the kids, maybe. Who knows? Now that's uh, you know that's just one minor thing. I did a lot more work in one of the other sections, and I found the factory in the new house. So if we come over here, go through these maintenance tunnels. Let's see, they've done a whole lot of shit out here. They've got a little railroad track and cranes. They've set up a whole thing down here with these lights in the ceiling, and you can tell they're they're working on shit. Um, there's a house randomly out here, um, and then if you go this way, you can see they've set up another weird maintenance tunnel type thing, and this is the factory they set up. Um, it's an excavation pit, um, which, you know, makes sense down here. Another big thing they did is way down here, they've got some kind of crazy foundry set up. Let's see, there's, uh, you know, shit all around here. And there's these, uh, <clears throat> industrial, like, um, things. Got little offices and craft stations in here. I don't know what they're doing, but um, I approve. But uh, that seems to be about it for now. So um, let us now head back to uh, Nuka World and see if Q's finished with his his thing on Bob. Let's head over to uh, Nuka Galaxy, and we'll see how our boy Q's doing. Brown is up next. The second half of the letter. Of the butcher. Old place. Dust and dirt. Yeah. Hey there. If you don't like the way to the Christ almighty, man.
Only Edsel has the sleek, clean line design that sets it apart from the lookalike cars. And it combines new looks with the newest V8 engines in the world, the big new Edsel 400 and the power-packed Edsel 475. It is unlikely you have ever driven a car with so much real, usable power as the Edsel. And with Edsel's exclusive Teletouch drive, Quit standing on my head. you drive more safely, more easily than you ever have before. Because both hands can stay in the wheel while the hey there. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. There's even the luxury of new Edsel air suspension. That's just like How long is this going to take, my man? And remember, of all the medium-priced cars, car for car, across the board, could have built myself a 1958 Edsel by now. New and the lowest price too. So see your Edsel dealer. So it appears that uh, our hydration, hydration research has uh, moved along. So let's go check that out, shall we? The last few days have been a total bust. I've been squeezing every last drop of liquid I can from the leftover crops, but I can barely put together enough each day to keep up with the experiments. Then today I got lucky. Carla had a few melons in her stash that were a really strange color. At first I thought they were rotten, but after closer inspection they appear to be laced with Nuka-Cola. How is that even possible? It's like some crazy farmer out there decided to water his plants with this stuff. Next time Carla's in town, I've got to find out where she got them. I have heard that Nuka Cola is what plants crave. What uh what does the quest say? I guess I gotta check back later. Alright, well. Um how's the medical research going? Well, I guess we need to go back and check on that. Oh, right. To the Robco Battle Zone. Rad chickens. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Attention. All contestants for the Nuka Cola drinking contest must turn in their indemnity waivers before they will be allowed to participate. Mentats are, were my favorite thing ever. So it was a treat of sorts to get myself addicted to them again to test a cure. Yeah, I know, I could test this stuff on other people, or maybe rad chickens, but I feel like that's unethical. Think of the rad chickens! 
It's like when I was trying to be a chemist. I tested things out not only, only on myself. So here we are. I'm testing this last, hopefully, formulation for curing mentat addiction on myself. It's so close. I think we'll run with this combo. One burnt tato, one pureed mute fruit, four steamed glowing fungi. Smells like crisp hair so far, but the taste wasn't too bad on earlier variants. <laughs> kind of like drinking a fizzy rainbow with well, gentle raindrops popped on your head. Time to test. The space between letters are going to swallow me whole. Oh, yes, it's much later. Maybe not four steamed glowing fungi, maybe two or three. Using one fungus is not enough. Pretty sure I saw all the words ever for a while there, but I don't remember putting them down on paper or the walls. Must clean out all my walls from my colorful graffiti. But the four steam glowing concoction fungi I did, did nuke my addiction. Reminder to self, format the recipe here. better from this. Bark potato, pureed mute fruit, steam glowing fungus. Alright, well, let's uh, get some supplies and we'll be back. Alright, we're back. So let's start by burning a tato. Once is not enough. Hope you enjoyed that last number. Burnt. Now let's steam a mute fruit. Parents, if you're looking for a refreshing way to make it through the day, try a Nuka Cola Dark. Say great cola taste. With an Wait, I don't think that's what I was supposed to do. I think I was supposed to puree the mute fruit. I don't actually know how to puree, but let's try a mortar and pestling one that's been steamed. I couldn't say. Whatever their reasoning, I think we can all agree that fewer superheroes. That's mashed. If you're Close. missing an item, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee. Yeah, pureed. Wow. Let's try. Use one dab of Brill Cream. Just a little dab makes your hair look excitingly clean. Disturbingly healthy. Soaking it and then mortar and pestling it. Now he's in trouble. We refuse to be responsible. Brill Cream, Brill Cream, Brill Cream. Brill Cream, a little dab will do ya. Brill Cream, you look so better there. There we go. If you're looking for a refreshing way to make right, it through the now day, for our glowing try fungus. a Nuka Cola Dark. Same great cola taste with an alcohol twist. Try steaming two of them. Might have to do it again with three of them. Due to there high demand, go. we've added a second performance of Queen Quantum's Coronation. Please check your part brochure uh, for details. So steamed pureed. <clears throat> what was the other thing? Burnt. I already passed it. Burnt potato. Pureed meat fruit. And Due to a mix-up at the Safari Adventures fungus. Animal Waste Facility. Apple juice will not be served this evening at the Four Leaf Fried Fish Restaurant. Let's see what we got. It's like an injection. This evening. Show starts promptly at 9 p.m. Into the veins we go. Oh, yeah. Neurotic tonic. Alright. Now, all that's left is to head back to Spectacle Isle. We'll give a. give our new Helios a test. 
It's just like being back in the in the Mojave. I would assume this would only work during the daytime. Sunny weather would probably help as well. That might not be strictly necessary. But we do have a weather control machine, so we can make that happen. What is that floating thing? Oh, it's an iBot. I can't remember all the robots I built. So many of them. Every idea is more absurd than the last. You really get around, Q. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? It looks like it's already on solar. So hit the button. Pull out this Euclid Sea Finder. Ooh, fancy. Now, where would be a good test spot away from people? Nobody really over here. I think right over there should be good. Wait for the sun to clear up, or the weather to clear up, so the sun's out. Alright, let's give this a try. Oh shit, look at that. Shit. <laughs> Daddy like. Well, that should be fun. Well, this calls for a celebration. And luckily, we built a distillery here in town for just that purpose. Fuck waiting for them to bottle it. I'm gonna drink it right out of the still. Ah, oh, yeah, but it's tasty. Yeah, well, hot lava's okay. I'm fine. Or, you know, not. Hey, everybody. Great Pirate Solomon here. Just want to thank everybody for watching the latest episode of The Misadventures of Solomon in the Commonwealth Wasteland. If you like what I'm doing, click on my pirate head over there on the right. Subscribe for more. Find out what else I get up to on the interwebs. Follow me on Twitter at GP Solomon. Like me on Facebook at Misadventures of Solomon. If you really like what I'm doing, head over to patreon.com backslash Solomon and throw me a buck or two. If you want to see the last episode in this series, click the window on the left. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.